here at the Lyndon B. Johnson State Park. Um, with all the COVID stuff, you've been making reservations online. We couldn't do that for this one. They said to call. So we did not call, so we're just showing up. So we're going to see if we can uh, get in or not. Here's hoping. We are officially in Lyndon B. Johnson State Park. It's free to enter. You can make reservations online. I must have just missed the button to do that, but it didn't matter. We got in anyway. Um, the Like I said, it's free to get in, and your ticket here also gives you access to the National Lyndon B. Johnson Park, which is like just down the way. Um, there's quite a bit to see here, it looks like. No camping, just day use, lots of trails and things to check out, so. Right now we're on our way to hopefully the farm. Yeah, they have a living farm here, which is kind of fun. So we're going to hopefully see a lot of, and they've got like people that work at and wear period clothes and yeah. work the land and kind of talk to you about how they do all that stuff. So hopefully we get some cool stuff. And they also have bison and longhorn cattle, all kinds of things. I'm excited. There's a branch in the middle of the pathway. And in my head, this is where you start looking out for an ambush. Could be orcs. Just saying. Honestly, it's probably the snows. Um, the snows are so heavy here. The one time that we had them, it was, uh, you've seen a lot of branches down, so. Well, we left our masks in the car because we figured everything was going to be outdoors, but turns out you can go into the farmhouse. So I think what we're going to do is finish seeing everything there is to see at this uh, the state park before we go to the national park. And then before we leave, we can drive back over here to this parking lot in the park and go inside the houses with our masks. So that's the plan. We'll see.
they came here with four children, uh, mm-hmm. and then they ended up having six more. So they had ten children. Wow. Wow. And actually, the where the kitchen is, the two story that they eventually made that like a dormitory. Six stories all the kids upstairs, yeah. mm. four girls downstairs. That's what and then, do it. Yeah, and then the, the uh, in 1900 the Beckmans then um, came here. Uh, there were two brothers, and one of them married a, a woman from a, a German mm. family, and so they built. He built this ah, okay. in 1918, and it's press tin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and it is a original. We saw a couple of others in mm-hmm. town in front that were pressed. The yes. press, the press tin stuff seems so it lasts it, a long time. <laughs> it, I know. You maintain yeah. it. It is like yeah. that's from 1918. Yeah, and it looks brand mm-hmm. new. I mean, we've gotten to paint it, of course. Sure. Right. Because you can, it's all part of the can, upkeep. Yeah. Sure. just finished up at the living farm here we're gonna go check out the rest of the park and then uh, there's a parking area here so we'll get back in the car get our masks drive down here and then go inside the rest of the little houses and stuff There are so many birds here.
this is the buffalo field. Unfortunately, it's not feeding time, so they're way out there. So we're gonna try to zoom in um, and show you, but they'll probably just look like dots. Sorry. Well, we have wrapped up everything that the state park side has to offer, so we're gonna drive over to the national park side. I think most of it's just a driving tour. I'm not 100% sure. We're Duh. gonna go find out. Park side now. We just saw the schoolhouse where Lyndon B. Johnson went to school when he was four for a very short period of time. And now we're going to go check out um, what they call his birthplace. It's not the actual home he was born in, but it was a reconstruction that was built on the site uh, when they got the ranch. I guess the original was removed in the 30s, but we're going to go check it out and see what it looks like. The one and only fact I ever knew about Lyndon B. Johnson was that he had a car that he would drive around guests, he'd drive guests around in, and then he would freak out and act as if the brakes were failing and then drive them into a lake and then laugh at his guests' reactions of thinking they were going to crash and die, but it was an aquatic car. And then he would just keep driving into the water, sail away. And I think that is the best thing I've ever heard about any president on the face of the planet. Phenomenal. This was his car. His aquatic car is in this building behind us, but it's closed because of COVID.
LBJ had guests come and visit, instead of having a registry for everyone to sign, he had friendship stones, and you literally signed your name in cement and put it in the walk with everyone else's. recap. First, let me just say, you could easily spend an entire day between both of these parks. We have been here. We did. Yeah, we've been here since about, what, 10.30? About 10.30, It is 4.15. And we would have spent much longer if some of the buildings had been opened. There was a lot that was closed because of COVID. So, State Park, the main attraction there, I really think, is the farm. Yeah, yeah. the, 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 The living farm is really cool. It's really neat to have people dressed up in period mm-hmm. stuff doing things like the blacksmith and then like the ladies uh, making uh, wool and all that stuff. Yeah, really and there's a lady in the kitchen making food and I think during like regular times they probably like make food throughout the day and hand she it said, out. She said they give cookies away sometimes. At Christmas so. time. Yeah, they said to come back um, at, like check back on their Facebook page for Christmas because they have a big tree lighting ceremony in the house and it's the only time the park is open at night and they have all the lights out and they hand out German cookies and I don't know, it sounds really cool. I'd like to go back for that. But the Living Farm is really, really neat. Tons to see there. Then you can walk out to see some other cabins. Those aren't open to go in. You just walk out and look at them. Yeah, they're just older cabins to look at. Mm-hmm. But there's not a lot of walking. I mean, there's not like a bunch of hiking paths. It's mainly just the historical aspects of yeah. where you are. And it talks a lot about the president and uh, where he was from and like that yeah. kind of stuff. The state park focuses more on the land and the history of the land. And then the national park focuses... On, on the Lyndon president, Johnson. Yeah. yeah. So the national park. It is, again, gorgeous. I I so wish that the snowstorm hadn't thrown off our spring or else everything yeah. would be in bloom right now. And it would be, I, ca- I can't imagine how incredible it would be in full season. I hope that maybe we can come back someday and see it because it's just stunning out here. The land is beautiful. It's beautiful. Um it's more of like a driving tour, but you can stop off at all of the places and get out and walk up to them. And there's like a little sign. And some of the places are open during normal times. Everything is closed right now for COVID. So um, you get to see like the schoolhouse and the house where he was born, even though it's not the original. I have to sneeze. Hold on. Then you also get to see like his grandparents' house that was moved here. It wasn't originally right here, but it was moved in. And then you drive throughout the whole park, and it's really gorgeous. And then you get up to, like, the Texas White House, which is um, the house that they lived in. Again, closed for us. Couldn't go in. But Usually usually, uh, non-COVID times, there's tours. Yeah. But, you know, it's all shut down. But still, we got some great outside shots of it. It was really pretty. Uh, They have a bunch of information boards about the president and his wife. And you can learn all kinds of things about the amazing things that they did. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I would highly recommend both parks. And if you're Absolutely. here, if you're here, you might as well do both. You can see like the Texas White House from the Texas State Park. You just have to come down the road and cross the river. Yeah. So very, very close to one another. Everyone that we talked to here was super nice, very helpful, very informative. 100% recommend to come. Absolutely. And I think for me, this might be my first national park. I think so. I don't think I've been in another national park. So for our first national park together, yeah, this was pretty great. Everybody was very nice. Like she said, you know, a lot of stuff was closed, but that's just the times we live in. What do you do? It just means we have to come back. But definitely check it out and do us a favor and like and comment on this video and also follow us on all the social medias. So mainly we're active on Instagram and TikTok. So check us out there and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for subscribing and watching.